All right, here he is, the number one lightweight contender, making his way to the octagon and looking to leave as the new undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world. He has bided his time, waiting for this title shot. He's got the winning streak. He has the quality of opposition. Now he's fighting the number one guy in the world. He believes he's the best. Now his opportunity to prove it just a few minutes away. Here's the UFC lightweight champion of the world defending his belt yet again. This has been one dominant 155 pound fighter, ladies and gentlemen. You know this is a belt that frequently changes hands. Well, it hasn't since it's been wrapped around this guy's waist, given all the skills he brings to the table. The question is, fighting a challenger like this, can he hold on to the belt? If he can, just another chapter in the greatness of one of the best lightweights this octagon has ever seen. And now our tale of the tape for this lightweight fight. Oliveira is one year the elder. He will have a four inch reach advantage. And now one more time for the official introductions. Here's Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Eve Loving. And now this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Toyota Center in Houston, Texas. It's time! Five rounds for the undisputed UFC lightweight championship of the world. If he's the first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a jiu-jitsu fighter, holding a professional record of 34 wins, nine losses, and one no contest. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds, fighting out of Sao Paulo, Brazil, presenting the challenger, Charles Dobrox. And now introducing the champion, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler, holding a professional record of 24 wins, one loss. He stands five feet 10 inches tall, weighing in at 155 pounds. Fighting out of Mechacala, Russia, presenting the reigning, defending, undisputed UFC lightweight champion of the world, is home. UFC belt online, protect yourself at all time, obey my command at all time. If you want to touch love, do it now, go back to your home. I'm stuck down there, wasting time. Stress starts to advance position to get grounded by him. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the What a takedown. And this might just be a matter of time. strikes here and if you're the opponent you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop the you got to defend 
but you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It starts to elevate because he knows that he can get the pitch. Just over three minutes to go round one. Close guard, nice hammer fist. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. All right, well, both fighters pretty comfortable on the ground, DC, but you gotta be very careful hanging out here for too long if you're his opponent. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. The Kimura's not the arm. It's the shoulder pressure that usually makes you tap. Oh! Turn on the elbow, and he's going to chase the submission finish. He got it. He got it, John. How about it? Gets the win by submission. Beautifully executed there on the ground. the best grappler, best submission specialist we've seen in a long time. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there he is, the UFC lightweight champion, and I'm not sure any 155-pounder could have held up under the onslaught here tonight. He wins the belt by way of submission. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 23 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by tap out. And new UFC lightweight champion of the world, Carlos the Bronx Oh, what a moment there it is for the new UFC lightweight champion. I'm not crying. That, you're crying? Are you crying? <laughs> I mean... Almost, a, it's hard not to feel emotional when you watch someone accomplish something that they set out to do so long ago. Congratulations to the champ. He did a great job in winning this belt.